I feel depressed. I'm lying in bed. It's almost like... It's almost 3 a.m. 3 a.m. at... I feel depressed. I've been trying to... I've been trying to reach out to people and... Uh, man, it's so difficult to find people. I, um, I have a psychosocial like coach. At the moment, I'm seeing them, like, I mean, talking on the phone, like, at the moment, it's two times a week. Before, it was, like, once a week. Uh, I also see a psychologist once a fortnight. So that's been helpful. Uh, I made an account on OkCupid and I don't know, maybe more than a month ago, but it's like... <laughs> and on my, uh, uh, on my profile, <laughs> you know, they, they ask you to, like, answer questions, and one of my, the, the, one of the questions is, like, what is the, like, something, like, a secret you, you wouldn't tell people, or something like that, and I said, I have a stalking problem and an obsession problem and uh, yeah, <laughs> which is something I have and I've been talking about that with, with my psychologist and also my psychosocial coach. So I've been talking about my uh, obsession and stalking issues, especially online and uh, so we're trying to deal with that. I think the solution seems to be to find people in the real world and uh, so I have a lot of connections so I'm not like focused on one person. Uh, uh, Anyway, so, I mean, over the years, I have the, I have had these obsessions with various people, and it's really not good for me, it's really not good. Um, so I've been trying to, like, find people, uh, you know, okay, but it's like, I haven't had success on that. I also like have a fat life account. Uh, it's like a for kinksters, and you know, I've I've contacted, I've I've exchanged messages with people, but it's like, nah. <laughs> so far no luck. Uh, what other place? So I made a. I made an appointment. I mean, like I, I, I'm a member of this meetup group, uh, trans people. I, I joined that in, like in ten years ago, like late twenty thirteen. I I only went to one meeting, so they have another meeting coming up, and I, I sort of like. I said I'll try and attend that. So, the thing about these appointments is like um like uh, I can hire people to take me there so for instance when I went to get my hormones uh, yeah so I'm glad I got my hormones there I think it was like a few weeks ago because last year I sort of com didn't go and get my hormones because I was spending my whole time in the house so I'm glad I went to get my hormones like a few weeks ago because when they checked the levels it like it was a bit low you know. Uh, so I'm glad I got my 
you know, implants. So hopefully that'll last for the for the year and yeah. so anyway I have the NDI so I can pay people to take me there and back. So for the uh, trans meeting I'm having you know my psychosocial coach arranges that. So that's uh, another way to get out and, and meet people. Uh, so I've been trying to get therapy and try to get meet people, but I don't know, I just feel depressed. And one of the ways I distract myself is like I'm constantly on Twitch. You know, GTA RP is like this role playing, and I'm constantly following other people's lives online. And I've, I've also started playing GTA RP, and uh, you know, and sometimes I talk to people because I'm so scared to talk to people in games. Let me call self conscious about my voice. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but I am kind of uh, because I play like female characters and yeah. Like the other day, like I was in this city and you know I was uh, I was trying to find a jo like a job, and then these well, this guy pulled up and he's like, "Do you want a job?" And I'm like, well, "Who are you?" And then while I was talking to him, there was an, some other guys in the car. They were like cat calling me, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, what do I do?" And then the guy was talking to said, "Oh, get on the bike," and I got him on the bike, and then we drove off. So I was like trying to run away from them. And today or yesterday, I slept throughout the whole day and I got up at late in the evening. And yeah, so I was trying to do a job in the city, you know, GTA, RPN. It's like a lumberjack. I, you know, you can't carry wood from one place to the other. And I, I like, I'm just this like when you when I was standing in this place to collect wood like the, these guys were there and they automatically started making these moaning sounds <laughs> and I realized that this is what guys sometimes are doing it's like it's like they're it's it's a type of harassment it's like as a woman I'm thinking like when you have sex as a woman you might it's like you might make that sound and because of the you know having a vagina and all that and these guys by making that sound it's like they're trying to kind of like pick on an aspect of your body which over which you might not have any control over and which is like you know what I mean it's like it's like as a woman this is how your body responds or functions and they're just sort of like making fun of that you know trying to like pick on you it's like it's kind of like a bullying tactic it's like a form of bullying and maybe they do it because they're insecure or something. Uh, you know, or lack confidence in approaching women or something. But anyway, it's, it was definitely like, kind of like, it's definitely harassment, sexual harassment. But it's like, I just felt, I just like, you know, I felt kind of, it was an interesting experience to see how guys like, haha, it's only like, what they were doing is like I was imagining myself if I was a woman like you know like a cis woman and oh it's like it's like they're picking on you for something over a year or the way your body is uh, and over which or something over you which you have no like control over or it's not like you know it's an aspect of your body that like this is how, this is how it functions uh, you know and anyway 
it was like an interesting kind of insight or something. I'm, I'm not sure if this is actually how cis women feel, but I just, I, that's how I kind of like interpreted it. Anyway, so yeah, but when I was coming, like when, when I was returning from the uh, lumberjack place to deal with the, 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 the woods, you know, the planks, uh, I sort of crashed into this other lumber truck and he was like calling me an idiot. And I sort of apologized. And then when I was apparently this this thing is so realistic, like where because I had crashed into the truck, my truck broke down, and I had to call like a uh, you know like a one of those people who come and repair trucks or repair cars, you know, like a mobile uh, repair. What do they call it? Roadside assist or something. And while I was waiting for that, another truck pulled up and this guy was asking hey do you want a repair kit and I was like okay but he, he was like well it's gonna be expensive it's gonna be like seven thousand dollars and I was like okay okay fine I'll have it I had, I had the money and, and while I was trying to get get this from him the actual roadside assist person showed up and he was like oh okay now they'll help you so I was, I was talking to people so because talking to people is a challenge so I feel like talking to people is kind of like an accomplishment it's like socializing uh so i've been doing that i still feel kind of depressed i'm currently you know another thing that's bugging me is like i've become obsessed with another person and it's like oh that's not good for me and I've been trying to like, oh, I gotta stay away. My psychologist says, oh, you know, you should stop like watching that person and you know. Uh, anyway. So I'm trying to deal with that and what else? depressed I'm trying to get out of this kind of isolated thing and it's challenging it's difficult to meet people I didn't realize how difficult it is to actually meet people I mean like from like friendships or something it's like very difficult <laughs> it's like it's like it's like I thought it would be very easy because that's where I thought that the reason, like, I don't meet, I, was, <laughs> I said, I thought that because I'm alone because I choose to be alone, and now that I'm trying to meet people, I realize, holy shit, actually, meeting people is not easy, and <laughs> so I'm like, what? I'm trying to meet people, and the, and and I'm, I can't, I can't get people to like you know meet uh, you can meet people i suppose but it's like i don't know maybe uh, i have to try i have to do more i mean it's still very difficult for me to actually talk to people because i get very stressed like i'm like i get very hyper vigilant I, I get like like i get this adrenaline like i get i become hyper vigilant when i talk to people and yeah, anyway yeah, I thought I'd just talk about this in the video. Yeah.